Hello and welcome to today's daily briefing with some hot off the press stimulus news. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin spoke at a hearing today about the Trump administration's top priorities for the next stimulus relief bill. And included in this is details on more stimulus checks, additional paycheck protection funding ideas, and fixes to unemployment. Now this is gonna be a short, sweet update, so before I get into it, please consider clicking the like button. It helps out the YouTube algorithm and helps push this video to a wider audience. You can wait till the end to see if this video is worth liking or not, but I would appreciate it very much, and uh, yeah, let's get right on into it. Mnuchin's overarching point today was that the next bill will largely be focused on getting people back to work. First, the sticking point that we've been having with the $600 additional unemployment is many workers face lower income if they leave unemployment and go back to work. Now this is a major issue with many Republican members who just don't like the disincentive it causes to not go back to work, which is kind of ridiculous because the whole point of that program was to keep people at work, but that's kind of besides the point here. Mnuchin seems to be in favor of a return to work bonus that would incentivize workers to return to work. The most popular return to work proposal right now is a plan that would give $450 a week or $1,800 a month to workers who are currently on unemployment and return to work. This would be in addition to the workers' normal wages. So it's a potential to be a pretty large stimulus for those leaving unemployment. A $450 bonus would save the government and effectively all of us taxpayers tens of billions of dollars by the end of the year, plus our economy would be more productive because people would be at work instead of on unemployment. The $450 number was chosen because it would ensure that the average worker making minimum wage would earn more employed with that bonus than they would on unemployment. So the number does make sense. Mnuchin also expressed that he is against the idea to reduce capital gains taxes on businesses. He felt that this reduction doesn't seem necessary in the light of the massive measures taken by the Federal Reserve to increase the financial system and the markets and small businesses so far. So this is a sentiment that I tend to agree with. I believe a reduction in capital gains taxes would disproportionately help out larger institutions and not so much the individual worker. Mnuchin also talked more about the Paycheck Protection Program and increasing funding to help increase employment. However, he believes that another round would have to be very narrowly targeted to the businesses that are hit the absolute hardest. Remember, small businesses employ a large percentage of the entire U.S. workforce. So even if you aren't a business owner and you could care less about business-related matters, it will benefit you if small businesses get more support. So it does matter to every worker and pretty much every citizen. I actually read earlier today that it is estimated that 25,000 small business retail locations are set to close this year because of the pandemic. That is 25,000 empty units. This is kind of a side sidebar here, but if any of you have any ideas on how to fill literally thousands of commercial real estate units, send me an email because I'm just interested in this idea and there's a major problem to be solved here and potentially money to be made. All right, moving on to the stimulus checks. Secretary Mnuchin stated that he and the Trump administration are going to seriously look at whether we want to do more direct money to stimulate the economy. This statement actually gave me a ton of hope for the second round of checks. This is because we already know that Trump has mentioned several times that he likes the idea of another direct stimulus payment. And we know that his administration staff are seriously considering it. Plus, Trump also knows that if he's the hero fighting to get more stimulus checks for the people and he makes it happen just before election time, he will no doubt get more public support in the polls because of this hero status. It's unfortunate that games like this are even played when the public is in need, people need money right now, but at least it increases the odds that it might happen. I believe that the favor for additional stimulus checks increased today. The timeline is still looking about the same though. We can likely expect pretty much no voting on these issues and no 
real firm bill made until around mid-July after the 4th of July recess comes to an end. Anyways, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.